just a girl who's enthusiastic about makeup and positivity. And when I say positivity, I mean bringing people up, not pushing people down. Being mean is not cool. Awesome people are not mean. So be kind all the time. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. Mine is all right. For this video, I thought I would um, go through and do a full face of some of the stuff that I got in my January BoxyCharm. Uh, this would be like an actual first impressions. Other than when I showed it to you on the video I posted, I believe it was like Wednesday or Thursday. I haven't actually touched any of this stuff, so I've never actually used it. So this will be really interesting and we'll actually get to see how it works and everything. I will be able to give like a full review of everything because I'm just putting it on right now. But I'll try and remember to update um, in the comment section below if I, if I do. I don't know if I will how it lasts all day so let's actually get a look at the eyeshadow palette that i got i got the ace beauty or ace beauty scarlet dusk palette you think in between the video i would have like looked up how to say it but i didn't <laughs> and this is a really pretty palette um looks like this neutral sort of with pops of pinks and orange I haven't even swatched it, so let's go and we know how beautiful my swatches are, but we'll go with the first row first. So these four right here. So that's Sunset Rose. Then we'll go in to Crimson. Ooh, that's pretty. They're all pretty so far. Shade and the last one on this row is Nocturnal. So that's them so far. And the next row is this second row right here. So we'll start with Aruba, which looks to be Satin Shimmer. Looks like that. Well, that's really pretty. The next one is Hibiscus, which also seems to be like a satin shimmer. That's vibrant. The next one is Lotus, which is a matte. And the final one is Bahamas, which is also a matte. So that's those right there. And now we'll just swatch this final row right here and I'll do it on the other arm because I obviously ran out of room. So we'll start with Maui, which also looks to be like a um, satin shimmer type of color. That's really pretty. Then Pink Moon, which is a matte. Ooh, that actually swatched a lot lighter than I thought it was going to. And Aurora, which is like a pink satin shimmer. And the last one on this line is Sangria, which is also a matte. So last line and then the first two. So definitely more of a warm tone palette, which doesn't bother me. I like warm tones. So let's see. Okay, so I've just primed my eyes, and I think to start off, I'm going to go in the color. Let's just go bold. I'm going to go into Pink Moon. I just, I, what's still I open this crimson and pink mood, pink mood, pink moon, um, really attracted me, but I think I'm going to go with pink mood today. Pink moon. Oh my God. I see same pink mood. Picking up on a fluffy brush. And I'm going to apply that to my crease and socket area. Big surprise. I know that's kind of like where I always start off, but I feel like that's where everyone kind of starts off. And I'm just going to go back and forth like in a windshield wiper motion. So right now there seems to be a lot of color payoff right off the bat, which is really nice. It seems to be going on nice and smooth. Normally, I usually do my face make—I mean, my eye makeup first, and then I go and I do my face makeup just in case I make any like big mistakes. But just for this video, I thought it would be easier because I'm just kind of like playing around. I did my face first, and then I'm doing my eyes. Now I just want to repeat that on this side. 
I feel like it's a little bit darker on the left. Darken up the layer a little bit. So like that. Then to soften up my crease area, I'm gonna go into this color Aruba right here on a pencil brush, and I'm just gonna apply that under my brow bone. Totally got cut off there, so I'm just going and I'm putting Aruba in my brow bone. And then I'm just gonna take the brush that I had Pink Moon on and just give them a quick little like blend together. So it looks like this so far. And then I think I wanna take a, yeah, I think I wanna take an E25. There is a little bit of kick up in the thing, which is fine, um, from Sigma. And I'm gonna go into the color and I'm gonna go into the color Sangria. Which is just this one right here. And I'm going to apply that to the outer portions of my mobile lid, kind of leaving uh, like the center open a little bit. Again, I'm finding like a lot of color payoff with this. Very, very, very minimal fallout, which is nice. And then I want to take the brush that I had. And then I want to take the brush that I had Pink Moon on and just go over where Sangria and Pink Moon meet just to kind of smooth them out a little bit. So they're not so like, there's not such a harsh line. Let me just repeat this on my other eye. So it'll look like this so far. Then with my finger, I just wanna go in to the color Maui right here and apply that to the center portion of my mobile lid. The part where I kinda of left a little bit of open a space. And of course going over a little bit into where I put Sangria. And then I just want to take the brush that I had Sangria on and kind of just clean it up a little bit so they're kind of blend together. And it looks like that. So I should like something stupid that I did. I was supposed to use this Wander Blush and Bronzer Duo as my blush and bronzer and I totally did that ahead of time. So we'll save this for another video. <laughs> I'm such a dumb dumb sometimes. 
Okay, so off camera, I just kind of finished up this eye, and then on this eye in my waterline, I just put the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner and the Color Boots in my waterline, which looks kind of weird in this angle, but trust me, it looks okay, I promise. Um, so then just to finish off my eye, I'm going to go into the color Sangria right here on a small little round brush, and I'm going to apply that to the outer part of my, under my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go in with Pink Mood and kind of do that same thing on the inner part of my lower lash line. It's gonna really kind of go into Sangria, but it does give it a tiny bit of a lighter effect in the closest to my inner corner. And then I wanna take a little blending brush and just blend the two out. Oh, I just realized on my other eye, I never went in my inner corner. So I'm just gonna take a little pencil brush and I'm gonna go into the color Aruba, which is the one I applied to my uh, crease area. I'm gonna crease my brow bone and I'm just gonna put that in the middle, in the middle, in my inner corner. So I really like can't talk today. I don't know what's going on with me. So like that, just to give it a little pop. Finish everything off. I did remember not to put lipstick on and I'm gonna go into, I think it's, Again, like I probably should have looked up how to say it. Manicator, Manicator Beauty Simplified Lip Whip in the color Faith, which looks really, really pretty. That is a very pretty color and it went on really smooth. I don't know if it necessarily goes with this whole look, but it's really, really pretty. It'll be interesting to see how it dries down and stuff. Normally I probably would wear a lip light. It actually goes on a lot darker than it looks in the, see, in the tube. And I messed up right there. Even on the thing, huh. Not just in the tube, but even when you, well, no, maybe not in the tube. It just looks a lot lighter, but it's a really pretty color. Seems like it's drying down. Like I said, I'm not really sure if it goes with this look, but I wanted to try it. And first impressions is that I do like the way it went on. So this is the whole like look done right here. Again, I was supposed to use the Wander Blush Bronzer Duo set in this, and I totally, totally forgot. I'm such a spaz. I'll try and get to that in another video so we can use it. Maybe I'll use it a few times beforehand so, so I can actually give a review on it. But first impressions on both the Ace Beauty and the Mana Cater Cat, I really need to look these up. Lip Whip is that I really, really like them. I knew, I've had a couple of products from them before um, and I haven't been like super disappointed or anything. So I was hoping that that Lip Whip would work well. The, I have the Grandios palette from them, um, from Ace Beauty that I got in my Birchbox last year, and I liked it, so I was hoping that this one would also be just as nice, and it appears to be just as nice. I found that the colors that I used, Pink Moon and Sangria, the two match, they went on really nicely, had a lot of color payoff. I didn't feel like I had to really work, work with them to get them to blend out. Then the two shimmer colors, Maui and Aruba, were very nice and smooth and went on. And I think that they're very pretty. I feel like you could do a couple of different like warm looks. I mean, it's not the most versatile palette that you'll ever have, but you could definitely do some really pretty warm looks with this. And of course you can always use this with something else. So anyway, that is it for this video. I'm sorry, I feel like I was kind of all over the place. I don't know what's going on with me today. <laughs> so, so anyway, if you liked this video, please feel free to give it a like. If you really, really liked it, please feel free to subscribe. If you want to do neither, that is totally fine. Thank you for stopping by, and I will still send you tons of positive vibes and happy thoughts your way. As always, I will list everything that I am wearing on my face, as well as my Instagram and Twitter handles, in case you are interested in following me there. I post looks that I do not uh, film, as well as pictures of my pets, because I think they are cute, although I am biased. I really don't use Twitter all that much. It's mostly Instagram, so if you're like looking at my Twitter, you're like, why? It's, it's really something. Um, 
And I think that that's it for this video. So from one makeup lover to another, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And remember, be you, do you, love you. Bye.